So I was reading and I slept off and I left my phone on the table. When I woke up, I didn't find it. I was so destabilized. The first thing that came to my mind was flash your phone. As I called the number, I just heard a ringing tone. And I saw that man, he was struggling with the phone. I was flashing. I was moving close to him. When he saw me, he was uncomfortable. He stood up and he started walking away. I followed him. At some point, he started running. And I was chasing him. And he turned by and said, why are you following me? I said, where's my phone? He said, who told you I stole your phone? Do I look like a thief? He said, my phone is with you. I'm flashing it. This is my ringing tone. After so much confrontation, he dropped my phone. And I was happy. And the Bible says, he that finds a wife has found a good thing. I was hoping God would say, he that finds a wife has found a good person. But he said he has found a good thing. That tells you that a wife is not a person. A wife is a system. There are values, things that come together to form what we call a wife. Now the problem that I've discovered is that a lot of people, they don't know what a wife looks like. Listen, if you don't know what you are looking for, when you find it, you will not know you have found it. The only reason why you can find your phone when you flash it is because you know your ringing tone. It is a scripture that provides a picture of your ideal man and your ideal woman. The Bible says, can two work together except they be agreed? Now, scriptures did not say two cannot work together except they agree. No, it says except they be agreed. There are two different things. Let's assume I say I believe in tiring and she says, I'm sorry, I don't believe in tiring anyway because I love you. I agree. Now, that is she agreeing with me. If the Bible had said, except they agree, then I would have married that kind of person. But the Bible says, can two work together, except they be agreed. For example, you can force bread to agree with okra. But between you and I, you know they are not agreed. But when you bring butter, bread, they be agreed. Now, if while interacting, and I say, oh, I believe in tithing. I say, oh, you believe in tithing? I believe too. Now, that's a discovered agreement. She is not deciding to agree with me because of love. This kind of agreement is not decided. It's discovered. So it means that you must discover agreements before you can proceed. And this agreement, they are on three levels. Spirit, soul, and body. A spirit agreement talks about spiritual connection. Find out, is he a child of God? Discover that he has the fruit of the spirit. The next is the soul agreement. And on that soul, we have mind, will, and emotion. So under the mind, understand that you think alike. You believe the same thing. Most marriages don't break because couple are not in love. They break because their mindsets about things differ. Now, will talks about being agreement in terms of plan, purpose. Find out the purpose of God for his life. Find out if your will is in alignment. God has told you as a man, go to the village and start a ministry there. She, she wants to go to UK. Your will is not in alignment. The next component of the soul is the emotions. One of the confirmation, whether you are with the right person or not, is that desire of the heart. Emotional connection. You should like the person you want to marry. The love of God is shared abroad our heart by the Holy Ghost. Now, the last level of agreement is body. This talks about sexual connection. So that sexual attraction is very important. However, it is not the most important because you can have it with countless other girls. So should you marry every lady, every guy you are attracted to sexually? No! Some of you, when you meet a man, the first thing you do is to go and submit names to prophets. You don't start from DA. There is how a man, a husband should look like. The template has been given to us. In the scriptures, if you don't have that template downloaded in your mind, you are not ready to find. Because people who find, they know what they are looking for.